If you're looking for celebrity gossip, there are only three letters that matter. Y, B, F. There you go. Founded 10 <laughs> years ago, the website is now one of the premier celebrity sites in the world. Yes. And here to discuss the YBS phenomenal success mm -hmm. is founder Natasha Eubanks. Hi, guys. Thank you for having me back. Always great and having I you here. Know. Congratulations. Thank you. The YBF wow. turned 10 this year. 10 years old. And crazy enough, I didn't realize it was 10 years. Other people had to point that out to me. <laughs> oh, I'm, no. so, I'm so busy in the bubble working. Yeah. I didn't know. So it's, I'm very excited. Now, did you have any idea when you launched this site 10 years ago that it, it'd no. still be alive and thriving? Right. Mm. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> well, one, I didn't have, a, I, I didn't have an idea that the site would even be the site. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like when I started, it was strictly a hobby. It was just me having fun. So I never thought in a million years I would be here as a business mm -hmm. 10 years later. Wow. Well, why did you originally want to even start a celebrity gossip site? And what was it about that world that intrigued you? Yeah. Everything. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I mean, I was in law school. I was completely bored. Mm. Um, and I've always been obsessed with tabloids and celebrity gossip and what everyone is doing back in the back in those days yeah. 10 years ago <laughs> it was you know just the fabulous life of you remember that on, on other networks yeah. and things like that and I was just like where's this life for the black Hollywood set mm -hmm. you know I never heard anything about it and I very rarely read news about black Hollywood outside of like Jet Magazine. Right. So I said, well, what are these other people doing? You know, other sites had just started, maybe mm -hmm. like one or two mainstream sites. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, why don't I just do what they're doing since they're not talking about black celebrities and did it myself. Mm -hmm. So walk us through how it went from an idea in your head to being an actual site. And right. what made you decide to take that risk? Because you were pursuing a law career, mm -hmm. very safe. This is right. very risky. Right. It made, it's just something I was just passionate. Mm -hmm. Something about it said, this is what's missing. This mm -hmm. is what is needed. You know, they need you in the streets because it's missing. There's mm -hmm. nothing there. And I knew I couldn't be the only black girl that cared about celebrity gossip, right. that mm -hmm. cared about people other than Jay-Z and Beyonce. Mm -hmm. I want to know what everyone is doing. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm like, just, I can't get enough. Yeah. You know, I used to carry tabloids to class and read them <laughs> in between my law school books. <laughs> so I knew that I couldn't be the only girl. So I said, you know what? I'm going to do this for everyone else. Mm. If I build it, they'll come. And that's exactly what happened. And what made me take the risk <laughs> is that when someone offered me money to review a movie, I'm like, you'll offer me money to do things that I love. Uh -huh. I talk mess about everything and everyone. <laughs> of course I'll do it for money. Um, and I said, well, if that's going to just be thrown at me without me mm. asking for it, why don't I put some effort into this and make it a job? Wow. Right. And for the last 10 years, you've been really at the pulse of all the celebrity mm -hmm. headlines going on. So what stands out in the past 10 years? What stories stand out Ooh, most in your mind? Yeah. The past 10 years. Yes. There's been so Take much. Mm -hmm. Anything salacious. So I would yeah. say like the cheating stories, yeah. um, mm. you know, how certain people got together. Mm -hmm. um, um, probably Jay-Z and Beyonce's wedding is one of the main highlights. Yeah. Um, anything that is salacious. Yeah. Um, definitely mistresses and <laughs> break babies and anything that just makes us be like, oh, girl. Now, for people who are unfamiliar with that term, break baby, <laughs> what is a break baby? Apparently, I, just, I just learned this a few months ago. Well, apparently, so. men have coined this term. Right. I, I, apparently, it's because they want to get the okay to do this. Okay. But when Ludacris had the rapper Ludacris, mm -hmm. he, you know, was a, in, a, in a relationship, a long-term relationship with a woman named U Eudoxy, yeah. and no one knew they were on a break. Apparently, according to him, they were, and he impregnated a longtime friend of his while we all thought they were mm. together. Uh -huh. He claims they were on a break. Dwayne Wade, I feel like it was the same day or the same week that this <laughs> happened. Mm. Dwayne Wade came out about having a baby that is not with Gabrielle Union, mm -hmm. who was his mm -hmm. obvious mm -hmm. frontline girlfriend yeah. at the time. He claims they were on a break when it happened. We didn't know about this break. So, and we know everything. A mm -hmm. break baby. That's what it, allegedly, oh, that's what it's called. Wow. I love it. The break babies. All right, so you have more than 30 million page views a month yes. on your site. Wow. How are you going to grow the brand? And when you yeah. hear a number like 30 million, what goes through your mind? Nothing goes through my mind. Really? I, oh, still, come on. I'm still that girl that thinks I'm just writing for, you know, my roommates, mm -hmm. my friends, you know, when I first started the site. I, I just speak, I just talk, I just do everything you read on the site is my voice. Mm -hmm. um, and the people that work with me, they know how to speak in my voice. It's very subjective. I am not shy about saying that. Um, but we also, we also are credible and we're factual um, at the same time. So I, I just, I'm just being me. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to get more readers by 
clickbait and by, you know, mm. trying to appease other people. Yeah. Um, so I'm just, just being me. I like how you said you're factual because a lot of sites just throw stuff out there oh, see, yeah. to see what sticks. If but... you could only see the types of emails. <laughs> <laughs> we get from everyone the yeah. tip line. Right. Um, you know, we have to actually investigate. Okay, how so many we want to investigate. Really quickly, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. How many people are on your team now? Because you have right. researchers who, who check into the fact. It was just you, obviously, well, when you first started. Well, it was when I first started. Now I have a team, a mighty team of four full wow. time. Wow. So four um, people make all of yeah, this happen. Yeah, That's... and I'm a control freak. <laughs> and so, you know, I like to run a tight ship, but I think that it keeps things in one voice mm -hmm. and it keeps things tight. And, um, you know, when you get sued enough times, you learn how to control things in a certain way. Yeah. So do you defend your own cases? Absolutely <laughs> not. The first thing I did was hire a team of lawyers. Oh, <laughs> smart lawyers. You know how to hire them. Okay, so we right. want to get to some of the facts that are in the headlines right now. Yes. Cynthia <laughs> Bailey from The Real Housewives of Atlanta <laughs> is in the news because it looked like her man Peter was cheating with somebody in a little video that has gone viral. Mm -hmm. What's mm. really going on? Mm. Is he cheating? Mm. Was it just a friend? Mm. They're going to be mean, a break, it baby. Just, no. right. <laughs> it didn't just look like he was cheating. You know, everyone defines cheating differently, but I will tell you what Peter did and why I would have kicked him on the curb the day that it happened. Okay, tell us. This is what happened. He's in his bar called Sports One in Charlotte that he opened up with former... RHOA castmate Cordell Stewart that right. was married to Portia. Right. There, I don't know if Cordell was there. I would not be surprised if he was. Oh. But Peter is in there seeing, you know, just dancing, talking. All of a sudden, a camera swivels around, mm -hmm. and we see Peter whispering in the ear of a young female. We don't know who she is, uh -huh. but it looks very close. Uh -huh. And all of a sudden, his hand goes from her neck down the front of her shirt oh. over her lady lumps. Oh. To me, oh, lady lumps. <laughs> this, lady is a bit, lumps. <laughs> this is a bit <laughs> inappropriate, you know? Yes. So he puts out a video after this video leaks, and he puts out a video apologizing, saying, I know it looks bad, but nothing happened. That's just my friend. You know what you men say. Well, no, wait, wait, you yeah. men. You, you know what you men, men say. Like that. Uh -huh. When you get caught. Wait a minute. Yeah. No. Not yeah. all men, okay? Touching lady when they get oh, no lady lumps. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. So he deleted the video, which we all thought was pretty suspect, mm -hmm. right? So yes. now Cynthia Bailey is speaking out. So after, what's she saying? After because she if made, you see your man touching somebody exactly. else's lady lumps, you have to have a real conversation. You have to, have, you have to talk about some things. Yeah. So and she, it may involve your hands. She crazy enough. <laughs> made her page private. I think she was getting too much hate mail, mm -hmm. too much criticism. Then she went on the radio okay. and she said, oh, I thought it was a little inappropriate, but I showed it to my friends and they said they didn't see anything wrong with it. Now, mm -hmm. you know, if she was still friends with Nene, that would right. have been. <laughs> she claims she that, awesome. you know, they had to have a discussion. Mm -hmm. She told him he needs to be a little bit more careful, but she said this is not grounds for divorce. Wait, more careful not to get caught on camera, Right, baby. I'm like, more careful about <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, I, I don't know, but she said it's not grounds for divorce. She says he he's being Peter. Okay, All now right. really quickly, we've got to talk about Chris Brown and Janet Jackson. Yes. Okay, Chris Brown first. He doesn't want to pay child support? What's going on You know, here? I don't think it's that he doesn't want to pay. Uh -huh. I think that Chris is being Chris, and he's speaking out the side of his mouth. Okay. He has already paid child support without the judge or the court ordering him to do so. Okay. So, you know, he's just not liking the fact that Nia Guzman, who's his baby's mother, is kind of, you know, using abusing the situation a little bit. Based uh -huh. on the court documents we've seen, uh -huh. she's demanding way more money. She's just doing you know, posting certain things on Instagram. I think that he's getting a little frustrated with her. Got but I you. don't think he doesn't not want to pay. Okay, okay. now to Janet Jackson. Yes. She's back. She's going to be know. going on tour. I'm so excited. Are you, do you think she'll be the same Janet? No. She, uh, uh, uh. she won't be the same. Okay. Let's, keep it, let's keep it 100. Okay. okay. She well, won't how will she be? Now, I saw her last at Radio City Music Hall here oh. in New York a few years ago. Um, I would say four, four or five years. I don't remember. It was a while ago, right. but... And she was great then, but people who have seen her so many times said that was actually the worst she's been. Oh. So I feel like it can't, it can't really get better. You know, it's only going to either stay the same mm. or drop off a little bit. But, but maybe cares? her time right. off in the Middle Ma East maybe, will have served her well maybe and her she'll man, be back. Her husband, all of this has done some good for her. I don't know. I'm just here for Janet. So you're going to go see her regardless. You, I'm going to see it front and center. Oh. Let's all go together. <laughs> okay, let's yes. do it. <laughs> Yeah. You all can probably get great tickets, so let's, I'm rolling with y'all. Okay. <laughs> it's a party. Well, don't worry. We'll be rolling with you on the website every okay. single day, following the headlines, the YBF. Thank you so Thank much for you. joining us. And congratulations again on 10 years. Thank you so much. Yay. All right. Here's a mini more. Here's a mini more. Natasha, <laughs> thanks. All right. We'll all be right. right back with more Rise Entertainment 360.